old under 18 one that's been organised on the side as well. So oh, they've jumped on board. Big night here at the Central Reserve, I'd say. And Pye holds it aloft. Into the middle they go. It's Bogan. No, sorry, it's um, where am I? I'm wearing number 12 for Grovedale. Oh, no, sorry, it's not two. It is Bogan. He's gone up in the ruck against Veal. Coming out back to Kelly, who's had plenty of it in the last few weeks. Hurried kick in towards Carmody. Picks it up. What can he do? Wheels around, dishes off to his uh, the oh, pizza God. boy in Falekos. Falekos gives it over to Embry. Embry, oh, intercepted by his opponent, Jared Young. Young goes back and gets his own footy. Dishes off the handball over to his mate, Fry. Fry goes into centre back, but it's... Sorry, intercepted at the centre back is Wood Mason. And hurry up and get here, Jock. I can't do all this all by myself. Okay. Comes down towards Learson, who has been playing really good footy. It's uh, handballs from Razga. Razga across to his mate in Abbott. Abbott to Costello, let's hope, but it's not, unfortunately. Again, Wood Mason intercepts, but his handball's intercepted. Trying to get around there. There is Costello. Goes into centre half forward. Up he goes. Looking for the big fellow in Erskine, but it's knocked away from him. Picked up by. Fedley, Fedley kicks it out to no man's land, the foot race is on and who that, it's Donahue. Donahue picks it up on the outer wing, sees a, a teammate in the middle of the ground and that's Delaney, Tim Delaney goes back to him, Donahue again, little chip up the line, oh, waiting for it on that occasion was Nathan Martin probably could have uh, run at the footy but he dishes off the handball, running into goal, there's the first score I reckon it's Donahue that's followed up and kicked the goal now hit the post. Minor score. Yeah, it was Adam Donahue. He's already had uh, probably three or four possessions. Yeah, been prominent playing in the midfield. Um, was a forward, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. He was, a, yeah, when he was the, the full forward. Was yeah. the goal kicking machine. Been playing mid at midfield most of the year. I yeah, think he has, mate. Together. Yes. Embry kicks to himself. Then plays on. Finds his teammate in Rowan. Rowan goes into the centre of the ground. Play on's a call. Balls goes towards Carmody, takes the mark inside the arc. Carmody unloads into the vacant goal square. Learson's there, he shepherds it through, I reckon he did too. First blood to the Tigers, I'm pretty sure, yes. Jake Carmody, first major of the game. Oh, pretty much a coast to coast there, Milky. That, yep. I don't think Gravedale got a touch on that, uh, that piece of play from fullback. I reckon they must have, because they call play on for the mark into the middle. No, so well, that's the I only touch. Got yeah, got touch ball. To yeah, it. that's it. <laughs> yes, but uh, no, that's that's good footy. Nice bit of play by well, the Tigers going straight up through the middle and obviously through Carmody, who's a big focal point for them, and, and uh, kicked it over the top to a running list, and they could have probably marked it, but shifted it through. This is where they're set up. I like the Tigers. He's right in the middle here. But the starting four in there. Yeah, that's a dangerous forward. Veal hacks it out of the air. Up in the air, Learson underneath it. What can he do? Gets his hands on it and takes a chest mark. 30 out. Well, probably closer to 40. Spots, spots Monaghan. We're in the 28. Ryan Monaghan. On a better angle, probably same distance. 35 to 40 out. Coach tells me he's been good over the last five or six weeks. Had a, had a slow start to the year from what I can gather. But um, I think Lynch has been playing in the middle on their best player, on the opposition's yep. best player, and he's brought him into the game. It's, uh, it's the form. Well, it's probably not the form improvement. It's just it's just the whole improvement across the board for the, as a team. Yeah. That's probably been the most achievable, and he's allowed for the win beautifully there. Ryan Monaghan. Who's boy is he? He is Glenn Monaghan. Glenn Monaghan. Glenn okay. The local yep. Lotto people. The what? That's Lotto guys. And the Cuts Lotto here. Oh, do they? I thought yeah. you meant they won Cuts Lotto. I was <laughs> going to say <laughs> cheapest. Uh, okay. Uh. Yes, we are. Oh, no, no, we're not on air. We're on, on the web. You can listen to it on iPad and iPhone. Second goal to the Tigers. They lead two goals straight to one behind. This time it's Bogan that wins it, knocks it down, intercepted by that player in Monaghan. He goes towards his teammate in Lynch, Nick Lynch. A bit more like, looks more like Skinny Hay than a Lynch, but uh, he balls wrapped up Kelly, as you'd expect, doing the bullying work in the pack. Very strong there, Lynch. Strong body. 
<laughs> Beal knocks it down. Only as far as his opponent, Donahue. He gets a tumbling kick forward in the direction of Razga. He's uh, met solidly by his opponent in Caden Newton, and the ball rolls over, rolls over the boundary line. Which way is the wind going, Milky? It looks to me to be favouring the Tigers' end, which is the city end. Is that what we'll call it? The city end? Used yep. to be the other end, used to be the swimming pool end. But well, uh, there's no swimming pool there now. Although there is one over the, yep. over the back, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yes, modern technology. Used to, you can't do bombs in that one. Used to do bombs in the one over <laughs> here. <laughs> Out on the outer side. That's, I'm sure that's Donahue again. He goes into full forward. Oh, good uh, mark to Erskine. Oh. Big strong boy, Erskine. He, yep, he doubled back on the lead and then decided, no, nah, he's not going to get it to me. So he come back with a pack mark. Yep. And it's, uh, the distance certainly won't trouble him. He's got a booming right foot. He has, hasn't he? Um, did a bit of training with the Dong Bay fellow over the summer. I was just about to ask you that. Did you yeah. see him down there? Yep. So he played a couple of practice matches. Uh, probably just didn't do enough. Um, at the time, but um, he's had a good year. As in fitness-wise, just... I uh, oh, just didn't have an impact in the games, I don't yep. think. And he comes. He's directly in front. He's 25 metres out. Distance will not be a problem. He's allowed for that wind. It's kicking into a fair breeze, the yeah. way that ball dropped. I haven't been out there, but um, in the middle, but the flag looks like it's blowing straight across sort of the scoreboard, doesn't it, or no? No, they appear to be into, yeah. into that pocket. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's cold out there. That's, that's all I know. Good spot in here. <laughs> I couldn't believe the last time we were here when um, it poured rain all day and Lara. we were sitting here against Lara and we were sitting here and it wasn't too bad and we walked outside and I reckon it dropped 10 degrees. I was out there, I remember, having a couple of... A couple of, <laughs> couple of cool ones. And, uh, it wasn't a great day for that either. <laughs> yeah, yes. So 1-1 one, one plays two straight. Even contest as expected. So obviously you'll tip the Tigers, Skinny. Uh, Oh, well, my heart was so tired because I haven't seen a lot of Grovedale, to be honest. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, well, go. Okay. So, is that where you're the going? Colac Tigers. Yeah, the Colac Tigers. Yeah, the Colac Tigers. No. Oh, I thought you were setting <laughs> me up then. No, no, the Colac Tigers. The Tigers that the you Tigers represent. Yeah, you can't go wrong, can you? Veal wins this one, knocks it down to the advantage. That's Nick Lynch trying to pick up the nut. He can't do it. Crashing his way through. That's the little fellow who's smart, I think. He can't pick up the footy. Well, Nathan Deans, he does. Goes. Comes the pack. Oh, Embry fell over, then did the old bounce like a trampoline. Kept picked up the footy. Handballs dished out. Is that uh, McCarthy or is it Mon Monaghan again? But it's Wood Mason that's copped it in the back, the player that dished it out. McCarthy's 32. Yeah, I'm looking at the young fellow, I reckon it's Monaghan. Yeah, it is Monaghan that dished it out. Gave it across to Wood Mason. And Wood Mason received a free kick for in the back. Brings it out to the grandstand side. Deans has it fisted away by Carmody. For Lekos, ooh, did he, he thought he might have even actually pushed, but I think he pushed him in the side and the ball over the boundary line. Both coaches about to swing the changes. Yeah. It's been good, uh, Bell Warren, former ballerine footballer. Boundary throwing, Beal wins it. Oh, dished out the back. Delaney in front now of with Seal. He's dispossessed. Brown, he's wrapped up in the tackle and. Oh. Didn't get rid of it properly. Lucky to get over the high tackle first. Yes, yeah, I would have thought so. Yes. Right. Umpire's looking after him this week. Yeah, Kelly goes in the direction of Learson. Knocked away from him. Comes back to Dean by hand. Out across to his teammate. Again, Brown taps it into the path of uh, his teammate in Hogan, not Bogan. He puts it out in front of Erskine. Erskine, deep in the pocket. Tries to get around his opponent. Good press. Comes back, goes back to Razga. Razga in turn gives it over. Embry, can he chop it off? But he gets shoved over the boundary line. We'll have a throw in. 48 around from the Grovedale goal. I don't reckon Jock's coming at all. No. I reckon I'm here all day by myself. I think I said that to you before, <laughs> the get, before the game started. <laughs> yeah. yeah but might have to get the roving mic to Jock. It would be very entertaining. Ball's knocked into the path of Erskine, I think that is, who's wrapped up in a tackle and drag to the ground and no it's Jared Young ball up again oh up high over the top was Abbott knocks it down picked off was, Lear, uh, was uh, Woodmason sorry hands out to um, his team his captain in Martin deep in the pocket tries to find a target oh kicks a grubber along the ground intercepted by Colac there's the first sighting of uh, Linton. Linton's kick is intercepted. Top of the 
uh, top of the goal square. Grovedale, that's young again. What can he do? Wrestles him off. Gives the old don't argue. It's picked up in by the Tigers' defence, the Colac Tigers' defence, that is, and comes into the path of Oban. Oban. Oh, gee, I reckon that if we... No, nah, it's his out in the full. Oh, thought the wind might have saved him. Oh. Sort of out of bounds. I think you're, I think you're I think right. I think we all had a good, a good line on that. I think that was out in the full. I don't think that touched any of the line, but um, he's close to us, giving the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He might come from Colac, does he, the bound jump on? <laughs> <laughs> Spinning ball back into play. Veal wins it again. Having a good uh, couple of weeks. Young taps it to himself. Then out comes his uh, Gubbins. Puts it to Woodmason, who started off very well. Kicks the ball out in front of his teammate in Alex Adams. Adams dishes off to his mate in uh, Rowan. Rowan in turn. Oh, yeah, can't pick that one. I reckon it might That's be Fedley. Fedley. Fedley across back to Alex Adams. Adams unloads, puts it out in front of Carmody. Carmody takes a good chest mark. About 75 from goal. Looking for some options. Decides to go. Oh, puts it out of uh, Jakey McGuan's fingertips. Can't quite drag it in. Defending well here is Fry for Grovedale. Knocks it in front of him. Intercepted, though. Umpire calls play on. And it's over the boundary line. We'll have another throw in. Two goals straight leads. I think they're one-one. Grovedale, aren't they? Yeah, I've got them down as one-one. Hit the point. Yep. Hit the post. Yeah. Yep. Ball over the back of the pack. Wind got hold of that one. It was that Barrett that was swung out of that pack? Ball at ground level. In dispute. Stacks on the mill. Umpire letting it go. Comes out the back. Grovedale play got one high. And that is Donahue again. <laughs> He's racked up some posies in his first quarter. Goes over to his little mate. Can't pick him from here. But he comes back and goes to uh, Percy. Percy's got it on half back. Unloads into the corridor. Oh, he finds the smallest bloke on the ground. And Deans, Nathan Deans, goes forward. Puts it into Delaney, the running Delaney. He's intercepted by Nick Lynch. Lynch puts it in front of Linton. What can he do? Good work there by the captain in uh, Nathan Martin, who socks it from Linton's hands. That's a massive tag. Massive <laughs> tag. But Nathan, De Nathan Martin playing on Linton. Yeah. Oh. I think um, uh, Kyle might be tagging um, Donahue, but it's not great effect at the moment. I think James Martin Monaghan might be uh, rotating off him. Delaney. Oh, goes to ground. Abbott goes in to help him out. At ground level is Lynch. Abbott dishes off the handball. Dean gives it off to Barrett. Barrett unloads into the path of Razgar. This one's out in the pool. <laughs> Land in the same spot, I reckon. <laughs> the same divot. Oh, Seal takes a good mark from the incoming kick from Embry. Centre of the ball. Sees Wood Mason. Oh, well chopped off. Just well done by Hogan. Hogan, Donahue. Wobbly old kick forward. Going back, taking a good mark is Prasani. Prasani out wide. Oh, hasn't quite found Learson. Intercepted by uh, Gubbins. Oh, good tackle. Good by tackle. Lee. Very, very good. And rewarded, which is good to see. Good umpiring. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> Comes to Brown. The bouncing ball. Brown's in the centre of the ground. Dishes off the handball. Deans was there, but it was Young who sent it forward. Or... Oh, Razgar, did he get it over the shoulder? No. Comes back to Embry, gives it over to Oban. Oban, little oh. short chip kick finding Kelly. Dangerous kick. Right in the centre of three of them. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Got away with it though. Kelly puts it out in front of Lynch. All Grovedale. There he is again, Donahue. At centre half back, little short give across to Costello. Costello. Decides to go wide, out to Percy. Percy's got it. He, up the line he goes. Back Alex Adams. I thought he did get one high. Got a shove and perhaps one high. But you pay in the back rather than the two high. He now goes over to McGuan. Jake McGuan spots his little mate nice. in Kane Smart in the centre of the ground. He spots up Carmody. Got no one to kick to in the forward 50. He decides to go, oh, very good spot. He's found Kane Caden Newton. Well, Names good. these days, mate. Yeah. That was an option by Carmody because there's no one in the forward 50 for him, so he just went short. He's backing himself here, Newton. He's unloaded, but it's uh, 
offline. But the distance there, it's easily. Five out. So that, you're right, that wind's definitely going down the uh, city end. It's been a pretty open game so far, though. Uh, Grovedale seems to have a lot of spare players and um, they've been able to run with the ball. As the, uh, the central reserve will do, opens yeah, exactly. it up, gives you yeah. plenty of room. Well, he He's gone over the line. Back. He's gone over the line, Purser. Percy, sorry. Ooh, I'm always dicey on those. Oh. I'm always not 100% sure the umpire can see that, but anyway. I think when they do, they catch them at a glance. Yeah, that's right. It's, um, you've got to have your whole foot over, don't you? Yeah, Boy. I think so, mate. Yep. There you go. Top of the square, trying to get his way out. It's Seal. Handball's intercepted. Umpire's called. But he's dropped it. So, free kick to Wood. Adam Wood in the back pocket. Goes, follows the boundary. Got three options there. Radcliffe's spoilt by his teammate in Erskine. Brown's there. Gets it, tries to get it onto the boot. Does so. Over to Bogan. Bogan gives it over to his teammate in Cameron oh, Young. That was a poor, poor option. Three Tigers three back tigers. there. Three Tigers and Fiddley. Three Colac Tigers. Col yeah, three Colac Tigers. Gets it across Fiddley to Adams to Woodmason. Woodmason. Decides to kick it off a step. Got three in line. Oh, McGuan wrapped up in the tackle. Umpire thought that was okay. Comes back out to Brown. Brown goes round the body. Oh, good defensive mark there. Don't know. By Fiddley. Done all right. Fiddley in the first yeah, quarter. Been good on it. Yeah. Asking, I think. Fiddley goes out to his teammate. Oh, oh, guessing that James up. Rowan. Is he this little fella, Rowan? Yeah, 36. 36. Yep, that was him. Poor option, finishes up with Dean. Dean tries to spot a teammate, but look, it's only landed in the path of McGuan, not Pazani rather, and uh, he runs it over the boundary line. I think if that was Jimmy Rowan, I think he just, he just sat it up to his uh, opponent. He tried to kick 20 metres further ahead, and the uh, Grovedale bloke had plenty of time to spoil, and that just caused a counter attack. Yep. And knocked out that kick again, I think. Into the pocket. Dean wraps up Kelly. Kelly, where's the umpire? I thought I heard a whistle. The. Uh, Netball is what I can hear. And stacks on the mill. And we'll have a ball up. Still 30 out from the Grovedale goal. They trail 1-1 one, one to 2-1. Two, one, and they haven't, they haven't got any points over there, boys, on the scoreboard. <laughs> two straight to one straight. They're only putting the goals up. Brown picks up the, the ruck, gives it over to his teammate. He's dispossessed. It's all Colac Tigers. Well, good work there. We got him. That's into uh, the path of steel. Simkin, 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 Simkin gives it over to his mate in Linton. Linton back to Seal. Puts it out in front of Veal. Seal the Veal. Has sealed the deal. Puts it, knocks it over to Lynch. Lynch. Very clever inside out kick. Hogan is held on to by, by Falekos. And free kick. In two minds. Doesn't know what to do here. Goes to. Oh, Lynch gets a fingertip on it. It was just enough to get it out of Bogan's hands. Wood in all sorts of trouble. Goes into the middle. Brown, McGuan, Carmet, Kelly. They all spoiled each other. Kelly goes to ground. He's set upon by the two Grovedale uh, opponents. Umpire says, give it a meet. We'll have a ball up. Yeah, no communication. Evan Jake McGuan. Andrew Kelly's sitting under it and he's spoiled him. <laughs> Bogan knocks it down. Costello left it behind. At ground level, the Tigers crash in Kelly as he does every time he goes near the footy. Good chain of handballs. Is, back at, is that back onto Monaghan? Has he got his second? No. That was Monaghan? That was Monaghan. Yeah, Come minus four. Didn't move then. I thought that was That's what I, that's why I watched him. Yeah, so <laughs> Watched him think, there we go. Receiving stains on the line this time. <laughs> First, he was the offender. Well inside it. Oh, kicked a wobbler. He kicked that well into the wind. Yeah. Veal gets a big fist into it. Good work there from his, uh, from Gubbins. Knocks it to the advantage of Grovedale. Comes back out. Jared Young on the wing. Dishes off the handball to the running Donahue. He has been at it some sort of first quarter. He's had two bounces. He's had three. He's going to have a fourth. Goal, eh? He's going to go all the way. There's no one in the square. Oh, yes, oh. there is. And it's oh. Costello. Yeah, Very good play. Good call, Milky. Yep. Adam Donahue has been on fire. And he's just... Created another goal there from pretty much nothing, getting his way through traffic and having four bounces and hitting a guy on the chest in the in the goal square. So, uh, terrific piece of play. Well done by Govins too, out, out in the back flank. He 
he got onto the ball from Veal when he punched it back into the 50. He was one on three there, and he, got, he managed to yep. uh, keep the ball and, and keep it going forward. Yeah, that was it. That was what tipped it back in the Grovey direction. A point the difference against the breeze. Not enough for the Tigers. I wouldn't have Colac like Tigers. That was Costello. Kicked that one. On the end of the four bounce. He's only here. Points to Grovey so far in this quarter. Yeah, I would think so. The against the breeze. Um, yep. They're playing a good brand of footy. I feel like we need to pile on a couple of goals in this last five or ten minutes. How long's to go? Six minutes plus time. And I'm thinking I'm calling this uh, by myself. No, I don't know what that means. I'll just go yes. And we'll go there. And I think we're right. Yeah, we're green. And I think that's what the, the point means. Apologies for that. Technical uh, side of this yeah. is not not the strong point. It says live, not recording. I assume that means it's just going. Um, yeah. The cameraman will put the hand up if we're recording. He's he can hear us, so that's good. Dean picks up the footy, gives it out to his m teammate, and that was uh, that was Leeds. Leeds kicks it very wide, but it's only into the path of Fedley, who sees it over the boundary line. Uh, the score is two two fourteen to two one thirteen. I'm glad you're keeping score, Milky. Yep, and that's the points. Jock jo doesn't think there's a need to keep points, see? <laughs> there is it's today. Proof. There is. Brown at the back of the pack. Tapped it in, then got it himself. Throwing his boot at it was Costello again. Comes back to Brown. What can he do? He to Brown. I thought I saw the umpire indicate a free kick there. Ball came out from Wood Mason. Oh, did he get one right in front of the umpire? Deans. Not, uh, Martin, sorry. Kicks it uh, off a step. Embury. Gets through some heavy traffic, then dishes nice off play. the handball. Good good play to Learson. Learson sizes up the goals. He's got Carmody. Oh. Just out of step. That's all he was. He was only a step off it, wasn't he? Yeah, he had a go out wide to um, Nick Lynch. Calling for it on his own. So uh, he really needed to kick that Kano. He just didn't see him. Here he is again. Percy does use every bit of that square. Yeah. Veal right in the middle of this. Gets a fist on it. Oh, at the back of the pack, Jared Young does very well. There go again through the middle. Dishes off to Deans. Deans puts it out in front of Razga, but oh, I was going to say good judgment, but it didn't quite get there in Newton. Top of the square, Razga! Oh, yeah. They've hit the front. They're yeah, well on top. The Grovedale Tigers, I was going to say the Tigers there. Yep. They seem to be, you know, those last two entries they've scored out of. They, uh, they uh, pretty, no, it wasn't coast to coast, but pretty much Oof. two or three kicks and goal. Yeah, they were able to get the ball over the back on the first contest, and the way they went through the middle. They're just out running to Colac like at the moment. They are, and which is the, I was interested to see how the yeah, Gravy boys handled the big ground and, and the open spaces. They're doing it uh, fantastically well. They're handling it very well at the moment. They're definitely on top. It was a bit of a uh, seesaw for the first five or ten minutes, but the last five or ten have been drived all the way. This, uh, yeah, it's just the sort of setup they're looking to set themselves for the finals, you would think, because yeah. they don't have a lot of experience on the big ground. No, they've been impressive so far. Absolutely. The first time I've had a chance to see them. Back in the middle. Bogan and Veal. Veal almost wins that one. Learson in there, throws a boot at, but misses. Trying to crash his way through at ground level was young for Grovedale. He gets it over to his teammate in Abbott. Abbott, in turn, Wood Mason, don't he gets the finger on it. Good dish of the hand across to Brown. Brown off a step up in the air. He's got Erskine at the top of the square. Good defensive work by the Colac Tigers. Back into the path of Wood Mason. He gives it over to Falekos. Falekos is dispossessed by Deans. Then over the top of Abbott, a throw. Throw by Deans. So Falekos has got it in the back pocket for the Tigers. Only uh, two or three minutes to go. Goes to centre-half back. Finds Alex Adams, who in turn goes to Newton. Newton goes wide. Good. That are away here. Is that McCarthy? Comes uh, forward to four. Oh, Carmody. Poor kick. Poor Jimmy, kick. Jimmy Rowan, I think, was it? 56 is Cody, Cody, Cody Spokes. Spokes. He's just come on. Did all the right things and ran fast, ran hard, and then didn't, didn't kick it well. Kicked the wrong option. First he takes the handball and then a good mark going back. Is that Fedley? Yep, he's been good yeah. for the Colac. Yep. Fedley, it's in our back. Takes the mark. Got a spot up Carmody and does. Carmody. Who's he got in his sights? Kelly's down there wrestling in the goal square. Learson at ground level. He, he lives on these ones. Absolutely loves them. Kane Learson. 
You say they needed that would be an understatement, but um, it takes a bit of a special effort from Kane Lynch there to get a goal, and he's, he's very dangerous when he's close to goal. Gives them back the lead, 3-3 three, three to 3-1. Three, Although that's not what the... the uh, boy, that's what we see. As long as I agree with the timekeeper, he says, you know they're the most important people in the game. Apparently, yeah. Uh, you only got to have a beer with them, and they'll yeah. tell you. Don't worry about that. I think Grove will be disappointed they got that goal. Um, let that goal, they, they dominated last five or ten minutes. Yep. So they'll be disappointed to let that goal get through there. There's only a couple of minutes left. T time for either side to get another one, but you'd t from a Colac point of view, they'd be hoping to get another one for a bit of scoreboard pressure with this breeze. Up we go again. They all went under it and missed it. Abbott gets a kick. Oh, the Colac defender ran past it. Deans gets the handball across to his mate. Oh, Young leaves it behind, then goes back. He's quick enough to get it and give him back the lead. Disappointing, but I don't think Lynch should be too di disappointed with the attack on the footy there. It's just one of those ones that just bounced in front of him and you hope for the yep. best. And then try and trap it. Went at right angles and he missed it, and which opened up the uh, opened up the uh, play for Grovedale. They got a handball out and, and another goal. Jock Brady's watch is obviously broken. He said I'll be a couple of minutes late. Fair income for the third quarter. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. We're still green, so that's a good thing. So it's three goals, three to Colac Tigers, to four goals, one to Gravedale Tigers. So 21 plays 25. Back in the middle. All players go past the footy again. Learson tries to drag it out of there. He's wrapped up in a tackle, and the umpire says, give it to me. Good crowd. Yeah, pretty good. Seemed a bit arctic, yeah. Yeah. Barrett takes, drags the footy in, wrapped up in a tackle, and gone. He's yeah, gone. That's it. A bit high. Yes. Yes. Right. Lynch. Pops it in in front of Carmody. He seems to be the target. Can he trap it? Good duel between him and Riley Hall. He's one of your boys, isn't he, Riley Hall? Yeah, he's on the stop list. Stop list. Comes back to Barrett. Barrett, wobbly old kick forward. Can the Tigers, the Colac Tigers, defend this? It's at the top of the arc. Oh, good work there from the Grovedale boy in Bell Warren. Knocks it into the path of his teammate. Oh, good defensive work from Alex Adams. No one home there for the Grovedale Tigers. He was just able to touch it before it got over the line, Alex Adams. Kick out. Simpkin. White boots. Simpkin goes to the pocket. Finds Embry. Embry comes out. Oh, good mark. No, not no mark paid there. I thought the free kick to Newton. He's finally got it and Fitty. I'm not sure what that was for. Might have been a bit of backlash, was it? I yeah. Think, I, I think something else happened. Well, I thought he got him high in the marking contest, and then he might have said that he disagreed with that. He might have asked the umpire for one beer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know. So it's Newton. Finds Carmody. Important kick, this. Minute and a half to go, so uh, if he gets this, and then got, they've got time for a quick one. I feel like I haven't had too many winners in this first quarter, but Jake Carmody oh. certainly provided a focal point, and he's been... He's been good, him and Fedley, and yep. Kane Leeson's been dangerous at times, but other than that, uh, hard to find a winner there for Kyle Grove, they've dominated most of the quarter. I thought the field's been good in the ruck. Yeah. Mm, that's, a, that's a given, though, most times. Carmody, as I said, a very important kick. He's going to kick from 40. He kicked it from 48, and he has kicked no, it straight through the middle. Absolutely didn't move that goal no. pie For his second. Didn't move before, though, and... Yeah, that's right. We didn't, we didn't know what was going on then. <laughs> so that gets the Colac Tigers back the lead from the Grovedale Tigers. It's, uh, those sheets we've got, what we're calling off, mate. I'm in my computer, they're both black and yellow. <laughs> so they come out, when I print them out, they're both exactly the same. I'm thinking, that's not good. Going to have a bit of trouble with that. So I had to change one of them over. I'll we'll have to call one of the teams today, the Panthers or something. Just yeah. <laughs> Gravy. <laughs> Just call them gravy, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> Back in the middle. Important. Abbott wins it. Knocks it down. Into the path of Smart. But he's dispossessed by Dean. Dean gets a footy. Dishes it out. Umpire says a free kick got him high. He'd have probably six of them a week, I reckon. Too high. 
puts it into the Ford 50. Erskine underneath it. Oh, knocked away after the. Oh, sorry, that was uh, Donahue underneath. He's gone forward now. Free kick to Embry. Is he, if he gets it moving, he's got time to score. Uh, he's going to slow it up. Slowed it up, so it goes out wide. Well, Mark to Lang. Up. Not to Lang, to, to Lynch, sorry. Mark goes in. No, that must have been Fedley that got it because there's Lynch there. Ball's in dispute in the centre. Comes out to Abbott. Abbott's ball is gone to Hogan. Hogan's dispossessed. Abbott gets it back. Abbott and nothing doing. Score. Wise. Colac Tigers go in with a lead of four goals three to four goals two. So we're right. 24-3. 27. Plays 4 2 26 to me. They're just uh, a couple of points behind. Maybe Jock Brady's over in the scoreboard. That's why it's not right. <laughs> uh, Jock Brady's uh, probably on his 14th pot. <laughs> We're going to take a break and we'll come back with this second quarter. <laughs> just comes in and takes over. Yeah, uh, Jock Brady, is it? Yeah, that's him. Uh, I've heard a lot about you, but I haven't ever seen you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it was uh, in better company uh, for the last uh, quarter, but anyway. <laughs> big day here at the Colac Footy Club reunion day. Yes. Uh, certainly uh, good to catch up with a few old folks. But very interesting first quarter, boys. Uh, the point in it, Colac uh, going in attack now through Jim Linton. He'll pick the ball up to half forward, looking for Carmody. He's in good position. Had two bites, couldn't take it. Jake has one now, wheeled around the left foot. He's got Lears on the lead, but uh, no, good interception there. Let's see Martin. The yeah, umpire paid a free kick, I think. He's surely the most. Nice game on the bald head. Nice to get old Martin. Nate, Nate, Nate on the head. Martin goes wide, looking for Bogan. Bogan has it fisted away by Veal. Back there, Jared Young. Can't quite drag it in. Tapped out of there. Veal's got uh, McGuan in there to help him. Intercepted. Thrown out in the tackle. Can't quite pick out the Grovedale player. Oh, just got it for touch. Yeah, it was uh, broad, wasn't it, I think? Just uh, kicked that over the boundary line. But, uh, yeah, it's a funny old wind, Milky. It's uh, it's uh, favouring the city end here, but uh, it's very swirly. It might be going more across the ground. But Veal gets the tap there and follows up. Kicks the left foot, kick towards an out foot. Veal's an underneath it. Punch away from Woodmason. Try to get the crumbs. He's well tackled. Ball on the ground. And the uh, Grovedale players saying he held it in. The umpire having none of that. And we'll have a ball up 25 well, metres out. Well, Jock, you know you said, uh, oh, don't worry about points. Yeah. If we hadn't had the points, we wouldn't have worked out who was winning. Well, it's with the scoreboard there for the ball. <laughs> but it was wrong. It might have been wrong, but they would have got it right. That's what the goal umpires are there for. Ball back in, uh, in defence. Quite in the first quarter, out. Kenny. And uh, he's looking for Bogan there. He does well, Bogan. He's able to tap it through the teammates' advantage. Play there by Colex Monaghan to go in and try and dispossess the uh, Grovedale play. There's a bit of a stack on the mill. Lynch is there for Colex and have a pull up. Why do you he's wearing white today? Uh, because I'm guessing it must. Oh, bless you. Fan clubs start ringing. We, we can listen to you, jockey. We can hear you. Veal knocks it down to Kelly. Intercepted by uh, Gubbins. Umpire circling. Get ground level. Kelly wrapped up. Still bullocking his way through. Can't get out. Give it to me, says the umpire. Yeah, why are they wearing white? Well, I'm, maybe they've picked it as the least. Um, Heritage round, is it? It was lefty's round. <laughs> well, I know that. All right, forward Wood Mason. He's paddling it forward. He can't get a clean possession. Monaghan's in there again for the goal of the Tigers. And uh, another screw. Jump on, I might pay one here just to get, a, uh, get things open up a bit. But uh, no. come in another ball up. Well, the only thing I can think of for White Jock is probably the least likely colour to clash. The green or the orange would clash with the, t the yellow and the black. Green? Uh, well, crash of the glass, the grass maybe the green. <laughs> All right, ball with McGuan for Colic. He was uh, well tackled there by Percy. Ball dispute again. She's going in hard there. Oh, right. Just thing. another one. Do you want to keep a count on him? How many gets too high? Everyone else is waste. Yeah. yeah. He's only a little bit, isn't he? Yep. Anyway, he wastes no time. He handles it off to his teammate there. He'll uh, run off half. Back. Best on ground for the moment. Donahue. Is it Donahue, was it? Yeah. He comes up there. Anyway, kicks forward looking for Young. Simpkin does well for Colic. Tries to get it across to Rowan, but uh, again... 
the uh, Graham Falboy and Costello gets it forward. Pisani comes up well, tries to the McCarthy. Uh, sorry, McCarthy. The finish is up here, though, with the number nine in Jared Young, and he puts the uh, fifth goal through for Graham Falboy. 2 32, Colac, 4 3 27. His second job. I think uh, Lynch needs to look at doing something with Young Donahue. He's. Um, He's got to have been had at least 12, 15 touches, I reckon, so far. Where are you playing off half back? Uh, I think he's playing on ball. Uh, yeah. ball. Yeah. Right. No surprises around the league. Newtown's beating West. Joey's beating Bell Park. Lara beating Leopold. And South Bowen beating St Mary's. As I look out there now, I see that Donnie is on a wing with Caden Newton. I reckon yeah. he's sent Newton to him, so there you go. Good moves again. All right, Jared Young's kicked two, and of course Erskine has got one as a well, good mark there from uh, Bogan. That's about six metres. From Hogan, rather. Comes straight up, Lees, and nearly took his head off. <laughs> Comes at the lead. Leeds on centre wing. Brings it into centre half forward. Abbott throws his opponent out of the way. Surely there's a free kick there for Alex Adams, but nothing doing, says the umpire. And uh, Adams finished up on the deck, and Abbott has uh, just gone to go into the contest. 20 out Abbott, 27 Costello. <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right. Ball. That'll it's happen, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, we've got leads there for uh, Grove. Oh, another high knock on the Grove. Oh, boy, there's down by some play on. Comes out to Leeson now. He's got a bit of space. He takes one bounce. He'll take another. If you look forward, what's he got on the lead? He goes along towards Linton. He's out in front of his kind of old play out strike pass. And uh, running back to the ball is Govan for a uh, Grove. Oh, yep, he's he gone. He's gone. He gone. Uh, can get a fist to it. No. And uh, Wood Mason, Trav Wood Mason, Colin, takes the result in free kick. Love the goal. Just took the words right out of my mouth. Not past, he says, no way. And then he'll point out us once again. All the way, big arc. I thought he was playing down back. He started back. Yeah. He's gone wide. He's gone wide. He's hooked it around. He's hooked that around beautifully. He's got it. He's a couple of claps. He loves it. <laughs> was it was actually a very clever kick into the breeze. Yes, it was. Oh, he pulled around beautifully. So the Tigers, the Colac Tigers, take the lead back from the Rosedale Tigers. 5 3 33. Rosedale 5 a 2 a 32. We have travelled about seven uh, and a half minutes into the first third segment. Deal. Where have, Deal. Deal. Where have you been? I, I, was, I, I thought the instruction was bring up whatever it is you're drinking <laughs> into the second quarter. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted me to bring it up in the box. <laughs> No, oh, right. no, bring yeah. a couple up here for oh, your buddy. Okay. Well, I've picked up the cleaning. And he took the time, Captain. I've given him a couple of cans. So he's happy. Back right. in the middle, Veal gets a hand on it, knocks it down. Duck in his head with the Colac Tiger. Coming out of there with Cameron Young. His ball bounces for it. Push. Goes to Abbott. Okay. Oh, Alex. Going plenty of yards there, Alex Adams. Oh, but Jared Young takes the mark. Well, not his third. Yes. Very good player, Jared Young. Interesting, the umpire in front of that uh, play paid it against Adams. The umpire behind it, uh, 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 mate, you would have thought this bloke behind would have had a better look at it. You would have thought so, Jock. You're seeing a lot of sense for a bloke who's had 40 pots. Free kick was there, I think. Yeah. That was there, yeah. yeah. But I just thought the other umpire would have picked it up. Jared Young coming in for his third. Head over the footy. Watch the goal umpire. Watch his teammates. that has gone through the middle. So the Grovedale Tigers win back the lead from the Colac Tigers. It's a high scoring game, isn't it? It is. It's a good game of football. Neither side can get two or three goals in a row, though. Sort of been kicking one each. No, no one gets on any row yet, so first side that does that. Hopefully we'll uh, get a bit of a break. And it's something you can... Uh, <laughs> I think Colac might have made a faux pas today, no? Just, uh, they've given all the old boys the premiership jump, jumpers, but they're in the Grovedale colours. So <laughs> <laughs> all these old blokes around the Grovedale, they, they look like old Grovedale groupies. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, Lonigan at the uh, back, have a look at him. The ball one's Jeff Murphy. All right, ball back, let's get a feel. Wins it oh, Kelly. Kelly. Kelly now. Kick it forward, looking for Carmi. He's got him on the lead. Carmi can't pick it up Queenie. He'll have to wheel around now. got plenty of pressure on him. Gets back towards Kelly. Oh, surely that's a free kick. And Andrew Kelly will take the result from free kick. Probably a bit far out, of, you would have thought, Skinny, just to, uh, with Kelly's range. He's going to kick from about 50, uh, sorry, 48. Yeah, I think he might be right there. Four, I reckon that might be too far for Andrew. It's always fun to be getting on the line. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's uh, probably good, uh, good advice here. All right, Kelly. 
usually pretty good kick. Kicks it wide like, oh, that's a ripping kick. Oh, he's got the distance. <laughs> what are you talking about, Paul? Yeah, 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 boys, don't you watch these guys every week? That outright are going to come in beautifully. So, really, you can kick goals at both ends. The Colac Tigers now take the lead <laughs> by a point. They got a 6 3 uh, on the uh, Colac Herald scoreboard. And that'll be 39. And uh, powered by Pura, that scoreboard. Yeah, yeah. Powered by Pura. Of course, yeah. Pura, big Pura milk day today. Pura, Pura Cup, the boys are playing cool. And uh, Drove Dale uh, still on 38 points. So, what's the difference? With that breeze, it's amazing the same number of goals have been scored I both reckon, ends. I reckon, I think I said it in the first quarter, Milky, I reckon it's going straight towards the scoreboard. I don't know whether it's favouring any end. Yeah, yeah. I'll look at the flag. I think it's yep. a kick out from the uh, Grovedale full back in the first quarter. Yeah, they got a goal out of yeah. that. So I think you're right, Skip. It's has gone up and down and nothing's happened. Other than just... Like your honey. Dribble. <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring up the path, didn't you? <laughs> Don't mention the war. <laughs> Saw the lovely die this morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gravy, uh, Adams could get the ball. Is that Good up tackle, up? Adams. Ball Didn't up. fall for the getting that Nathan Dean's high. All right. Ball with the uh, yeah, yeah, late Rowan. He gets it across to the folks now. He'll kick wide of the ball. Mate. He's got a yard and his opponent can go in. Give him a bit of time to sum things up. You now he's going backwards with the uh, ball on the ground. So he doesn't score. Uh, uh, towards Carmen. He oh. takes a one hand and now he turns around. He look for the lead. He's got Lynch there. He's looking his back up. I said no. Oh. That's a big play on. Very close to. He rolled him over. His knee went nearly straight the back. Yeah. yeah. But nevertheless, we've got another ball up. We've got plenty of them to score. Up we go again. Deal in late. Abbott wins it down. Knocks it down as far as. I thought that had to be Kelly the way he was bullocking his oh, way through. Gee, didn't have much of a that was. Good. It was Bonahan. Against Monaghan. Gee, very, very tough. Was it ever. Ball comes into the middle. Jared Young's the target. Takes the mark. Good Wheels Donahue. around. Dishes Donahue. up the handball to Donahue. Donahue's going to take another bounce. Got him. Got him. He almost got him. Oh. Goes goal. Well, he's got one. He doesn't go. Goal. He got sucked. Oh! Free kick. Take given a free kick against him. What happened there? Oh, he that. tipped uh, Newton upside down oh, after yeah. he went to him and tipped him over. Is the goal uh, stand? Uh, I would have thought so. Thought so. It's after the goal. They haven't given all yeah. clear. The goal up by the waiting. It's been no all clear given. So the umpires are waiting for an all clear. It's still after the goal, isn't it? It's after the goal. Oh. So, still yeah, no all clear. No, not waiting the flag. No. Well, they both stand there with their hands on the flag. <laughs> yeah. There's a free. Is there a free <laughs> going back to? It should be a kick from the start. No, no, it's a kick from the center, so no goal. Oh, All right, okay. Kelly kicks forward. So Johnny will probably uh, let himself sure. down a little bit then. I'm not sure that's correct, eh? Oh, no. I would have thought a free kick, thought a free kick was here at Newton, stands. wouldn't it? Now, I'm just giving the heads up, Milky. The goal has gone up on the scoreboard, so yep, I'm not yep. sure whether that's... Well, I haven't marked it down, so because I'm more important than the scoreboard. All right. Well, the yeah. goal, I wouldn't be recording it, because I didn't know the play. Okay, so we believe no goal. Spokes for the ball for Collick. Tries to get to Kelly. Gee, pressure's tremendous, isn't it, for both sides? We'll have another stack of things on the umpire. I'll pull it up. Um, Who does the score here for this? Do you guys do that? Oh, yeah, that's good TV. No, no. <laughs> Sorry, who does the score for the... For the for the uh, live yeah, memory no. or someone does that, don't yeah, they? Because yeah, they've given it. Yeah, they've given it on the... Uh, they'll, they'll correct that at the half time. Yeah. Right. All right. The ball back towards centre wing. Gee, uh, the race for the ball here. Great job. Grosker, is it? Yes. yes. He just over the boundary line and have a throw in. Just walked it over, didn't he? Mm. We're no options up forward. Uh, that goal from Lovell, the last goal that wasn't a goal from Donny, Newton just got a bit sucked into the contest here. He's got to be yeah, blind and stick with him. Dead right ball. Spinning ball. Good words of wisdom from the, uh, the party animal. He himself comes in to uh, umpire circling. They're trying to get Brown. Oh. He's got, he tried to get rid of it, still got it. Has not disposed gone. of it, umpire. He's got to be gone, yes. Played it from the wrong side of the pack, but he, uh, it was there. Yeah, we saw him try to handball it, but he didn't have that. His hand was pinned. For that guy. What do you call him? For that guy. Gives it over to Adams. Over to his Linton. Linton clears the pack. Leeson's at the back. Can he keep it in? No, he can't. Would have been dangerous if he kept that in, boys. He doesn't need any half. He only needs half a snip. And uh, something usually happens with Linton. So Wesley is the ball. Hit ball finished, fellas, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't miss one of them. Um, but Linton's been quiet, boys. Yeah, so far. Has he got a tag? 
Uh, I think the captain was tagging him early. Was in early. Quarter. Uh, Nathan Martin. I haven't uh, haven't watched him this quarter. Was early. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Good game. Pretty free. Free. All right, ball over the back, and it's going to be cleared again by the Groby defensive. Been terrific today. Uh, I'd really pay that, wouldn't you? Costello got like? it. Yep. Yeah. Kicks it up half forward, looking for Big Riley Hall. He turns, he turns, he's got to point Mary. Mary, sorry, it was Jordan Aston. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll get down here with Riley Hall. Number four. Oh, 14, sorry. Oh, How many bots are you out? Yeah. Probably one too many. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway, that's McCarthy got it. <laughs> yeah, you got them ones right. McCarthy in the back pocket, goes out to his teammate. That's Simpkin, isn't it? Know, yeah, white boots. <laughs> Simpkin comes out to McCarthy again. Switches play, across to Alex Adams. Adams, they're on if they can get clear of this Go next Newton. line of players. No, Gets to Newton. Newton's only got Deans to beat. Oh, didn't hang on to it. Linton, he's dispossessed. Go, go, oh, I got one. Go, go. Got a free kick to Linton. Oh, wasn't much in that, I wouldn't have thought. Uh -huh. It's off that one, but anyway, uh, Jimmy, you'd uh, uh, to get him. Not very often Deans get some paid against him. <laughs> Might be giving the... Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, Linton now on the left. He's going to try and play on. He does. Left hook kick. He won a great kick there. Well, he will pack on the finish. Oh, it could be a great kick. It could be a great kick. Lears and jumps on it. Oh, oh, it throws it under the wheel motion. He's got away with it, too. McGuire is rolling, rolling, oh, rolling. Oh, he's got away with it. That was like Tunnelball. Yeah, like put it through his legs. Oh. Ruck behind in the finish, though. So, uh, Collar go to 6 4. We think that uh, Gravy is 6 2. So, 2 Oh, he's going to square again. Oh, he's going to square again. Oh, he's Hate it. Hate it with a passion, this. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't make an answer to it. Well, Josh, if you had been here in the first quarter, it did say it's very hard for the umpire to see. Surely a big call from the umpire. No, yeah. call that. Ridiculous call. I just think it should be outlawed. If you're fair enough, if you're obviously it needs yeah. to over. Yep. But when it's only a little... Yeah. It's a toe. Yeah. It's just ridiculous. That's all right. Percy that got it. That now he's cleared it. Puts it out into front of Spokes for Colac. He gets it. Gets, oh, gets around one. Then spears the pass in. Lynch cannot mark it. Veal off a step. It, he's dispossessed. Oh. oh, good work there. Who's the seven? Simpkin. Is Simpkin. Simpkin. Lucky Simpkin goes towards goal, but uh, misses. Very rare you see that happen twice in the same yeah. game. That's like out. You know, you do it once, you're probably re really conservative from the rest of the game. But um, there he goes this time. Yeah, that's probably why it was black, I reckon. Yes. <laughs> Dropped out, I think, yes. We're back on deck. Yeah, <laughs> All right, back to the... That's a, that's a great kick. Up they go. And there's going to be another Groby clearance, although Linton's played a pretty good tackle here. Picked up by... Uh, was Rowling, couldn't get through. Paul in the spew. Again, it's a great goal defence through the yeah, He's played it. He's a good player, and he yes, yep. kicks it. Uh, wasn't a great kick. It was just <laughs> <before, laughs> well, before he kicked it. Adam oh. dives on the ball. Gives it to Learson. Learson now on the left foot. Kicks it forward. Oh, Bound Learson. Good work. More luck. Good luck to the management. Kicks it up towards McGuan. Gee, uh, I know that. yeah, I thought he should have taken that mark anyway. Nevertheless, it's going to be... Uh, and this is where they're really good, Grove. They're running out of the fence. Bang, straight into the half forward. A good mark taken there by the uh, big fellow, Razor, is it? Yeah, Razor. He'll kick up left foot, uh, right foot it was. Looking for... Oh, the little fellow at the back tried to do a... Uh, where is it? No free kick. No, it wasn't. Uh, picked up by uh, Newton. Gets it towards uh, Lears, and that was a pretty ordinary kick, and the ball's over the boundary line. 55 out from the Gravedale, a goal, 6 a 5, Kyle, like 41 Gravedale, uh, 6 2, we think. I agree with what you're saying, Josh. When Gravedale get out in space, they're up and very dangerous, and Kyle, like a reel in the back foot. Vila's front spot knocks it down. Smart tries to Ooh. crash his way through. Ball's coughed out the back. McGuan, he gets it, dishes over his two uh, spokes. Spokes. Open is the target, but Hogan gets in and takes a good defensive mark. Yeah, like <laughs> Hogan. Hogan! He's got it at half back. The long kick into the arc. Up they go. Or go, hits Alex Adams on the head. Oh, Costello goodbye. knocks it down in the path of Young. Can he get four? No. Can Donahue get the goal that he uh, richly deserved because he's been playing a damn good game? He gets his first or second. We're not sure yet. Um, yeah, again, out in his own time. He reads the play very well, Skinny, and uh, can find that space. You've got to stand him really good. Uh, right next to him. It's a hard call for Kate Newton, like before, when he went into the pack, and then, uh, and then Donahue sits out the back, and then if he doesn't go, or he does go, it's, it's, it's really hard for him. And, and a couple of times, he's just been caught out. I'm not sure whether he's actually still playing on him, is he? Oh, yes, he is. He's yeah. forward here on Newton. Yeah. So he's going wherever. Newton's going wherever Donahue goes. 
but he's still having a, a pretty big impact in this game. Three point lead to Grovedale, uh, we believe, and uh, yes, it's uh, 44 to 41. Well, well they top. definitely didn't wave the flag, so yeah. it's no goal. Oh, oh Veal gets up high, he smashes it. Up. No, didn't comes down to Fry. Fry quickly across to Young. He's been damaging as well. At the back, Erskine dishes off the handball to Costello. Costello, bouncing ball. Donahue ships it through. Got another one. Yeah, as quick as that. And probably seconds. It would all come from the centre. We said um, that's Erskine's second, was it? Yep. Oh, right. No, no, Costello's kicked kick that. Sorry. Oh, sorry Costello's yeah. kicked that, the second one. Yep. Um, yeah, it was a, uh, a tap that probably Veal had the better of it. Just didn't favour his teammates, and uh, they were able to take that clearance pretty quickly. It definitely looked very dangerous to grab our forwards and they've had a bit of time and space. Had Cole come to the pump. There's two in a row. That's the first, just, is that the first skinny, do you reckon? Yeah, first back to back goals? Could be. Big Larry Donnie down there. Yes. So he's a uh, centurion goal kicker. Yep, he's had boys had a fantastic year. He has, hasn't he? Yep. All right, ball back to the centre. Lears and clears it for the Colic Tigers. Would make it take it with you. This is where they're falling down, I reckon, centre half. Yeah, well, uh, Linton gets on the end of a mark mistake, but uh, his kick wasn't great. They really need to give their forwards better disposal because uh, if you give these uh, Grovedale half backs half a chance, they'll take it away. Kelly now couldn't get it off to Lynch, does he? Does he gets back to Kelly? He heard Rowan out the side at, uh, and he gives it to him. Now he oh. gives it to Carmody, and that's a mark. He'll have the wind right. Well, you think you'd have the wind behind him here. Yeah, yeah. It's be a hard be a heck goal. Of an arc. Be a heck of an arc, won't it? It's be a hard goal to kick this. Well, uh, yeah, Colin's forward kick entry has been really messy. They have, haven't they? Grovedale yep. have been a little bit more cleaner and they've had a little bit more time and space. But they might be prepared to go down the pressure there. Yeah, I think well. they yeah, terrific uh, job from the back line. But this bloke's had a good game so far. It's been dangerous. How many? He's a Hat and gloves all in one, mate. So He's wolf. got the gloves. Here comes Carmody. Golan Pie has not moved. That's great. Has not moved. What a great goal that is for his third. I think that just proves that that wind is definitely going straight across the ground. You're not going to give up till you've got no. this wind right, are you? <laughs> no, it's definitely not. It's definitely not favouring <laughs> City. <laughs> yeah. It's a, uh, it's a great kick though from where he was, even with it, if there was no wind. Good kick. All right, ball back. And, uh, what, how many minutes we travel, gents? Probably six and a half. I didn't ask you that. How many we travel? <laughs> 22, thanks. Thank you. 18 minutes gone in this uh, second quarter, and uh, well, Monaghan tries to break through the. So he's a little fellow again. Gee, he's, uh, he's good oh. in his way, but he's giving it back to Monaghan. There, yeah, Monaghan, he's caught, he's thrown it. He's thrown it to Kelly, sure. Play on, he threw it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, jeez, he's going to ping that great oh, up on him. <laughs> It was all like, oh, God, it was oh, almost right. like when the, when Monaghan threw it, the umpire put his hands up and said, good throw. Great throw. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. All right, Bill with Lears, and there he goes that wide, looking for Carmi again. Did he take it? Oh, got his hands to it, couldn't quite wheel it in. Now the ball's on the deck again, the Grovedale halfback. Oh, oh, oh come on. That is, that's as deliberate as I've ever seen. No. Call it. Oh, my well, Lord Mason was riding up for the goal already. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> might be the square up for the last one, I think. Monaghan's <laughs> last one. I've seen Travis move all day. <laughs> <laughs> The spinning ball comes in. Veal tries to paddle it behind him. Kelly's there. Gets wrapped up in the tackle. Gives it back to Veal. Off the left foot. Spinning to centre. Oh, forward over. Spokes almost dragged it in. Linton's there. Did he get his opponent high? Yes, he did. Free kick goes to McNeil. McNeil's at half back. Wheels around. Donahue and Razga the target. Oh, good work there from the Colac boys. Comes off to M. Monaghan to Embury. In turn, looking for Spoke. For, uh, sorry for Lynch, dispossessed but got a free. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he was going to go my hand too, don't worry about that. Lines, yeah. Chicken Lynch, now we'll look for Carmody. He's hit the box feet here, ball drops a bit short and goes over the boundary line, whatever they're throwing. Again, you see Don here sucking out the back yep. of that last contest. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kay Newton went and mm. went to the contest and he's, he's got to rely on his um, teammates to help him out before yeah. that happens. You don't want him knocked down for the footy, Cody. No, it's, it's a good uh, drastic result for my yeah, five kick. Three kick, kick. Yeah. against go. and fellow, 50. Just two fifty. I'm not sure what they've been for now. Had to be lipping. Had to be lipping. 
Yeah, it was a quick 50. I don't know if he had a chance to say anything, did he? Don't show Carby. I think the boys are talking about him there. Deans goes forward. Erskine the target. Oh, fisted away on that occasion by Fedley. Loose ball, top of the square. Wrapped up in the tackle. Oh, just trying to find the umpire. Couldn't see where he was. I think could have backed himself in and just grabbed that. Yeah, yeah probably should have. But uh, so he's trying to do this one thing. Yeah. Oh, Veal taps it into the path of the, the uh, Grovedale Ford in Costello. The small Ford. But uh, umpire says we'll go through all that again. I think he was trying to belt it through the Yeah, yeah. Goals. Didn't yeah, quite get it, yeah. did he? If we try and do the same again there, you would think. Get through if his opponent does no, just that. Good play by the big fella. Can't stand the Murray Street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Simpkins going to do the kicking out for Colac. And uh, he's had that role for the last uh, five or six games. He's done it pretty good. That's going to make a liar of me. Six it long now outside the uh, 50. Oh, good, good mark. Good mark. Uh, really unopposed. Uh, through that lead. McNeil. McNeil, is it? He goes yep. short. Good work by McCarthy. Colac get the spoil. Kelly gets the crumbs. Now he'll kick it out wide. Oh, oh he's seen Linton, whether it comes off or not, is another thing. But he gets a Linton gets it off to Spokes. Right, oh, oh, gee, that's not a great kick by Wood. Spokes, and Wood's taken the mark across the uh, half. That gets it out wide. And, uh, Delaney. Delaney. Delaney now will go wide again. It's oh, really oh. taking his foot. I was smothered there by Lynch. Delaney goes back after He loses his feet, oh. but uh, Lynch couldn't take advantage of it. Delaney picks it up again. Now the ball will be driven in the half forward as it uh, has been all day by that great half back line of uh, uh, Grovedale. Monaghan's there for Cole. He gets to Lynch. Lynch now goes looking for Carby. He's got a yard. And Carby takes the mark between wing and half forward for Cole. He'll do a chip kick towards Linton. He's working hard. A good made good up pace. round, yes. And uh, his mark's still outside 50. Jake McGuire to be uh, hopefully one of the blokes you look for. No, no Wood Mason. Wood Mason. Wood Mason to sit. Oh, couldn't quite put it in. He's good on his feet, Wood Mason. Like a cat, he recovers, but not good enough this time. Still in play. And Spokes snaps around his oh, body. Oh, he's got it. he's got it. He has got it. So Cody Spokes gets his first, mate. Yep. All right. Colac now. We think might be back in front. <laughs> or that by two points. So I think they're 8 5 and Grovedale are 8 3, but we won't know that till uh, half time. 8-6 Golic, thank you uh, Richard. Leopold have hit the front against Lara. Oh, God. That'd be a good result for the Golic Tigers. Tigers. Yes, point in front. Only early doors yet though. And uh, Geelong West are back in the game, which also helps Golic. Great John that line again, mate. Oh, producer's getting. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a technical, he's a TA. <laughs> <laughs> IT. 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 Oh, Learson wrapped up in a tackle. Got him lucky to get away with that handball. Kelly. Kelly wraps up his opponent. Good, gee, he's a tough player in the, in the clinches, Monaghan. Kelly. Monaghan. But he's been impressed. I've been impressed yeah. by Monaghan today. Yeah. Loose ball. Embry gets on the end of it. Little chip kick. He's got Carmody again. Rowan. Rowan, sorry. Just assumed alike, it was Carmody. They do look alike. Yeah. yeah. That's not a bad kick. Uh, Wood Mason was the hoping for a good bounce, but didn't get that, did he? Comes in inside the Ford Tigers to Colac Tigers, Ford 50. Umpire sits standing back, sweating. Loose ball, coughs out. Woodmason wrestles his opponent. He's good, well done there, the, the uh, Grovedale defender. Oh, Brown's oh, got it, dispossessed. Learson's got it. He he wrapped up in a tackle. Has no option to even attempt to try to get rid of this. Kelly back in there. Loose ball, he, he's just popped it up. Oh, no. Umpire's letting this go. Delaney goes in there. McNeil again, round the body, clears it out. Dean. Bounces over his head. Two to beat. Or oh, Simpkin couldn't quite pick it up. There's a flag in the way. The plethora of them today. Pradani <laughs> and uh, Rowan, they're trying to work it out. Simpkin back to Simpkin. Oh, he's hustled there, the right there. And good work. Oh, oh right gone. There beautifully by the Colac player there, and it should be holding the ball. No, uh, Egonski. Egonski. Egon. You could have played that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Two or three seconds early up, rather than going through all that crap. All right, <laughs> Mick Emery. Now, look for Carmody again. Uh, this time Leeson chips in, could take it Lynch, but yeah, yeah, he was right front and square, kick it up towards McGuan. Oh, oh, I thought he, gee, he's awkward looking Mark McGuan at times. <laughs> Getting? Yeah, I don't know. Another's been quiet today. He needs to work a lot harder, that's very, for sure. Yeah, he's been very quiet today. All right, he's kicked looking for Wood Mason, but uh, Wood Mason's been pocket to the side. Tigers keep going to that side, don't they? Carmen's leading out there. And yeah. Wood Mason's so pocket. is Wood Mason playing out of the square? Did I get the I impression that's is. happening? Yep. Where he likes it. That's too deep. They keep leading into that pocket, I reckon, skinny, don't they? They need to. They need to bring it back to the goal. Yep. Leeson goes third man up. Linton off a step and minor score. 
Well, we think we're eight. Uh, we think Colac are eight seven. Milk two eight three. So uh, four point lead. We think to the Colac Tigers. Well, been, and then you know what'll happen once they sort the scoreboard out, they'll let them know that three players have been reported in the third quarter. <laughs> oh, don't mention the wall, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, my man's had a good four or six weeks, Josh. Yeah, he's been oh, terrific. Yeah. Uh, skinny, he's yeah. good today. Great to me today. I tell you what, he's, he's, a, he's a big boy. He's a strong lad. No, he's yeah. uh, been a revelation, I reckon. And, he's, and only bigger and better things to come, you think, in the next couple of years for him. Just watching the boy kicking out. Oh, Percy. Because yeah, the umpire's yeah. watching him. Yeah. Brown goes up. Can't mark it. Smart gets it for Colac. He sends a goal. McGuan oh, almost yeah. takes the mark. Good effort there. Oh, oh Young ripped down by Kelly. Brown crashes his way through. Linton gets it, wobbly kick, sends it forward. Good defensive work there by Riley Hall. He gets it out and puts it out into the path of Linton. What can he do? Oh, Flips it over, sees oh, Alex Adams. Very clever football. Puts it out in front of Woodmason. Oh. Can't hang on. Jared Grove Young. Dale. There's Jared Young now. Throws it on the boot. Did well then. Can have out. a guess who we've got? Donahue. Gee, it's uh, good. Good footy, isn't it? Quick play on type of footy. It's great. Both sides really have been cracky. All right, good kick there by Donny to Barrett there and takes Mark. He's only, well, he's 40, 48 out. If he's kickable, you'd think. He's kicking into this howling breeze that's favouring his end, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll be kicking into it. Yeah, this, yeah, uh, yeah. Cross, cross breeze. He's gone the short pass, looking for the number 27 from Costello. Punched away from him. Kelly goes into Colic. Handball towards Newton. Wasn't oh. great. Really put him under pressure. Good work there by Graham. Oh, oh, that's a fortune. And the kick comes off to oh. Dylan Fry. He's going to keep him fifth here. He's going to... He is. Did he blow the whistle? Oh, no. I mean... Yeah, a bit confusing, that. But anyway, that'll be in a goal on the... The Colac boys are saying they touched it. Well, I didn't hear a whistle either. Colac, in he comes Fry and puts with Grovedale in front at the main Five, game. Points, we reckon. We'll find that out. But uh, goal kickers in the first half for the Tigers. Colac Tigers, Travis Woodmason, Andrew Kelly, Kane Learson, Ryan Monaghan and Cody Spokes. Three to Jake Carmody for the Grovedale Tigers. Adam Donahue has won. Jordan Erskine has won. Daniel Rezka has one, Dylan Fry has one, two to Matthew Costello and three to Jared Young. According to me, it's uh Hang on. What's well, ten goals three to visitors? Uh, then yeah. nine. Eight, six, nine, nine three. three. Yeah. Yep, nine three to eight six. Anyway, we'll confirm that at uh, half time. Yep, we will confirm that after the break as Jock speaks without his headset on. Yeah. Fantastic.